God. I can't believe it. Hi. The love of my life, let me get that for you. I got my coat. What's going on? Can I, I make know. you some breakfast? Oh, no, I'm, I'm gonna drink. Drink what? Alcohol. Already? Please, I can't I can't take it to anything. Wendy, it's 10 o'clock in the I morning. I don't care. I just have we have a lot to talk about. Aggravation. We have a show. Okay, I just need a little You're going to tell shot. all your fans that you want to drink right now? I need a little shot or something. I have an aggravation. I would have been here like a half hour ago. So what, a little half hour aggravation makes you want to drink alcohol? Yeah. Jesus Christ. What yeah. Look, look, come in. Oh! Wow. You got look, look at the shoes. Look at the shoes. Look at Oh, shoes. shit. Wow, Joe. What happened? Are these long jobs? Greg did long jobs. What the fuck is that? I'm hungry. You got me up this I'm going to cook you some breakfast. Relax. Hey, you got on all these colors. Where the fuck is you going? your colors. What is this? This is long jobs for real? Greg is long jobs. I look Because I know though. I, I seen those jeans before. You slept here? Jesus <laughs> Christ. Stop going through my stuff. How the fuck are you in here this early in the morning? You're just looking. Who the nigga that make the food? I'm fucking hungry. Joe. Do me a favor, Joe. Wendy, do you know how to cook? Joe. Can you do me a favor? Give me anxiety. Have a seat. Okay. It's fucking. I left my paper home for my, for my $300. I was fucking with you. And you left your windows clean. Put the camera on the fucking dirty, dusty window that's clean. This is nice. The last time I came here. Hi, y'all. Got some more motherfucking monkeys in here, too. How y'all get here so early in the morning? You step in? Yo. Because he called me last night and I was more responsible than your black ass. Fucking turtle head bitch, you look like a fucking zombie, you stupid fuck. How you gonna tell me you was more responsible than me? I just wanna make you guys breakfast. This is what we're gonna do today. First of all, let me introduce everyone. Manja, everyone, this is Manja. She basically, she manages everything Hi, around Manja. here. Hi, Manja. Hey, Good morning. Home. This is the home wellness human being right here. <laughs> she basically takes care of everything that needs to be taken David, care of at all times, what okay? The same thing you I'm about to make these guys some I breakfast and we're gonna talk about how we met. In an old ball. Yeah, you don't gotta worry about how you met these two motherfuckers. Okay. What you gotta worry about is me. Joe, don't bring the negativity. They wanna see Joe. Who else they wanna see? All you gotta do is worry about how me and Greg met. You don't have to worry about the rest of Wendy! Hello, Wendy! Hello. No, it's just us. Really? That's all? We're just gonna have breakfast, talk about a few things, and we're gonna go. Back to the yes. city. Back to the city. You're gonna go back home. I'm gonna go back to the city. All right, so you're gonna go back to the city. Yeah. <laughs> You all right, Wendy? Why you look like? Why you look so upset? Wait, the head power. Head power. Wait, wait for this fucking man to come. Oh, you look nice today, David. Thank you. You look fucked up, David. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. You and Greg got the same sneakers. This is gas, nigga. And okay. leather. Shit, these shits is tearing shit up. She thinks she's still in New Year's Eve. She don't think she is New Year's Eve. She just like to drink, motherfucker. My you need to start drinking more, you corner ball head bitch. What the fuck is this? You look like a fucking old pool table, you stupid bitch. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> old oh, pool table. So you know I what? Like I told Greg oh, yesterday. David. When he start joking you got, on you got me, nice excuse hair. me. When I start talking, I don't pay him no mind. He's with the same shit from the right, time I met him. You got nice and, and not only that, I came here to do a show for Greg. Let me show her the house. I told her already. I'm talking. Shut the fuck up. Kiss my ass. This is this is the television. <laughs> this is some old fucked up ass flowers he had over here since he moved here, and this is fucked up. Oh shit. This is, some fucking, this is some fucking. This is some cat shit. Shut the fuck up! I'm talking about the place. I think I'm one of the world. Oh my god! I don't even know the fucking word. Get up out! It's up to you, New York, New York. The boy is all fucked up. Hello. Anyway, <laughs> this is Kit. I don't know what this shit is. It's not Julio, Joe. It's a bottle of tequila. Yeah. Okay. This is a big bottle of tequila. Greg's doing big shit. This is David's um girlfriend right here. <laughs> David, your girlfriend is here. It's a boy, so what you wanna do? Just to let you know, this is my second time being Greg's house. Oh. And I'm honored to be in this house too. I'm already grown. I'll be 61 in about five weeks. I'm a grown man and mature. Unlike other people, they like 
still in kindergarten. I don't want to mention no name. You know what? You sound like a wet motherfucker and, kid, and bitch. So, so Nobody don't have that so sorry why? ass shit. Motherfucker for King broke the color barrier, so you should be glad you'd be hanging out with colored people. I'll stick that plant right up in your ass you tell me that old dumb shit like you black, you stupid. You look like a fucking monster, you know that? I'm handsome, bitch. Look at me. <laughs> Look how nice I look, motherfuckers. Yeah, okay. Wendy, what are you doing? There's no drinks on the floor. <laughs> I'm having anxiety. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. yeah? I'm in your throat. You look like you got struck by lightning that's good with that fucking hairstyle, yeah? Hey, I look like Marilyn Monroe, hey. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. 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 No, you look it. more like Arnold. Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah. I'm gonna fuck oh. you. Know. <laughs> uh, you know another girl that was working for me? Wendy? I love Wendy. I love, I love, I love Wendy too. I love, I love Wendy too. Do me a favor, Wendy. Stop yeah. touching yeah. shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, stop touching shit, Wendy. You don't live here. By the way, that's how you coming through. You coming through like that. Like you. Wendy, you looking for liquor? Stop touching oh. my pants. Hey. Mrs. Hey. Fifty. This is Jay-Z, it doesn't matter if it's empty, it's big, motherfucker. Fuck me, it's empty. You know what this shit is? This is $900, motherfucker. It's $230. $230, okay. goddammit. <laughs> this bottle hit you over the head of it. It's gonna hit somebody over the head. Bing, bang, boom. Bang, bing. Bing, bing, bada, boom, right? In that, yeah. What time is it? 10.20. When I say 9.30, he was here at 909. Wait, not fuck, not ten o'clock and not ten or fifteen. I could have been here, but the the car screwed me up. What car? You came in the car? Yeah. The, yeah, Uber. Uber. He's a bitch. How you came? Uber. And I'm the only one that picked the motherfucking train. So listen, everybody gets paid the same. How do you think? What you do with your money is what you do with your money. They didn't have them got off count. I'm the same Joe. The fuck y'all gonna be different? I live here. I live here. Fuck. <laughs> 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 <coughs> you are you just have to say that you're fine. Hey, were you drinking last night? Was that what? Drinking. Uh, Don't yeah. lie now. No, the night before. Ah, see? How about we talk about something? What? Do you remember the first time you met me? Yes. You me where, shit. where did you meet me? Yeah. In 1196. Sure. 1196 is where I used to work. It's the corner store. Yeah. On 6th Avenue and, and 47th Street. And, and I left my old boss on. Hey! Food is here, goddammit! Yeah. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so much. All right. Good day. Did you bring any grits? Joe, I got you orange juice as well. Yo, but it's not food. I'm making the food, Joe. Alcohol. I got us. It's oh, not alcohol, I'm Wendy. Doing. We're not drinking alcohol right now. What do you need? I don't know. Goddamn, what is this? He's making food for real. I'm making food for you. What do you mean? I love you. All he brought was some, some fucking eggs and bread. That's all you need. I got the oh. cheese. That's a nice right. picture. Is it? I'm hungry. I thought you didn't like my tattoos, Wendy. It's nice. It's nice now? Yeah. I should have ate before. All right. So why didn't you? Should come up on this side and let's talk about it. Joe? Yes. Help me out here. Let's talk about the first time and how we met. How me and you met? Yeah. Do you remember? Because we I remember met. very clearly. I know how we met. We met when I was working as a courier and I was selling CDs and DVDs. That's not liquor, that's juice. No kidding. Okay? No kidding. We'll just make it make it do liquor there, okay? Shut, shut Greg, up. we met when I was selling porn movies. Remember that? Yeah, so basically what, what I was doing is I was I was working with this guy all week to sell his watch. It was my first week on commission. And Joe comes in and as I'm working with this young man, and he puts a bunch of DVDs in my face. He's like, hey, you want DVDs? And the DVDs happen to be pornos. And the guy that I was working with. Trying to make the sale, got scared, put on his stuff, and ran off. And Joe looked at me, and I was very upset. And I asked him, "What's wrong with you? What's your problem?" You just I didn't up make you, you lose. Messed, yeah. You messed up my sale. He goes, you know what he said to me? What train is over here? Said, "I don't give a fuck," and walked off. Yes, I said I don't give a fuck. But look at me now. I'm a star. Stop touching me! I told you don't touch me, bitch. Your hands almost in my face. But I didn't. Got you. Yeah. This is a show, David. Yes, I know it's a show. So oh, don't show your ass because it's a show. I don't show my ass. We were, we were, we were back to on how we met. I'm trying to explain to the people how we all met. All right. Because Go people ahead. don't understand why we are all together. We met when I was selling porn movies and music. That's how we met. Okay. And you fucked up my sale. I fucked up his first sale, 
Then he got a new sale when Mayweather came and had a better sale. So whoever that was that left that day when I came, kiss my black ass, you stupid motherfucker. Hi, everybody. I was giving out flyers in the street on uh, 6th Avenue and 47th Street by the train station. And I always seen Gregory when he used to work over there. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? And stuff. So uh, that's how I met Gregory. And then I didn't see him for a while because I, I quit the jobs and stuff. And then I saw him again. And that's it. And then now, now I'm here. That's it. She was drinking a 22 ounce can of beer with a straw, a cigarette in the other hand, and marijuana, oh. marijuana glasses. Okay. Show! Sure. I'm gonna tell him how you know David. <laughs> David was on 47th Street, Joe. On the D-line, Joe. Sucking dick. <laughs> Joe? You hear what I'm saying? So. What's so, up, okay. so? Joe? 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 The way I met the, oh. the man I got into meeting Greg was when I was working with my bo old boss, Artie. So I was going back and forth. So I told Greg I wanted to work for him. And he asked me, do I really want to leave my boss? And I say, yeah, only because, and I don't like to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. It ain't going to anything like that. He oh, was, shit. He <laughs> was out. Shut, shut up. He made me up his own story. Go ahead. No. My old boss was paying me $20 a day. He's paying me more. And ever since that time, him and I would click. He take, have taken care of me, left to right, you know. Oh, my. Stuff like that. He, he had taken me to the nice You brown nosing motherfucker. He, he had treated me. You don't have to say all me. that shit. He had treated you me. You just work for him. He don't take care of you, you he dumb bitch. He treated me for my birthday. He buy me clothes and everything. Unlike my former I'm boss. Right, right, you know. Yeah, That's right. You take care of him. Why are you mad? You know. And most yeah, people and right. most people tell me that I got a very good boss side. You know, we understand each other. You know, and the way like Joe mentioned also. I helped him out a little bit because I used to buy like four or five fake DVDs. My shit was real, bitch. I'm the DVD yeah. man. I don't have to sell DVDs. I sold yeah. them for 20 years. Mm -hmm. I sold DVDs for 20 years and they work, motherfucker. Another thing is. None of your DVDs work. And, <laughs> shit. Of and another thing is, check this out. And another thing is, he, he never got out to fourth grade. He tells people. No, no, shit. That he, he, He's a master degree person. Now, oh, if he's a master degree person, why the fuck you be working with I Greg? I never said I have a master degree. Well, I'm a master degree said. person. I said I have a college degree. Well, same shit. Anyway, it's so, not a master degree person. So let me answer this question, my fans. If you have a master degree, you went to as Sue he and Paul, said, bitch. What you know about a master degree? You be, wouldn't you be working in a high class corporate building on Sixth Avenue? He's still working on Hang on my high degree. class corporate shit right here, these motherfuckers. Yeah, he got the shit from LeBron James. This is the number one, this is high class, bitch. That's the class I'm in. Wendy, you hungry? Oh, I don't even know how to make a YouTube channel. I'm working it. I'm making next right now. Right, right. You heard? Stop hating on the guy, you know what I mean? Yeah, you have a beautiful place here. Thank you. This is a nice place. You wanna move in? I wouldn't mind. I'd rather move away from where I live at in a place like this. This is for high class people. And so? This is not a place for just a regular motherfucker like you live at. Oh, Joe, and I, and, and, enough. And I get the fucking live harder. David, here you go. See, this is that bullshit. I'm hungry as a motherfucker. Joe, you're not. Say it, Grace, that's right. Grace. Thank you, man. David. How's that uh, truffle song, huh? Yeah, I'm hungry as a motherfucker. Yeah, we see that. Here you go, Papi. Shit. Hey! Time to eat, goddammit. You. You want some of this shit I got? You ain't getting that. <laughs> You're not nice, though. This motherfucker just brings me by so much cracker shit as I'm fucking with it. Wonder bread. It's not wonder bread, it's rye bread. It's healthy. I know, bread. I know. That's Jewish. All the Here shit. Go. All the rye shit that I eat. Jewish. I get none of my, I ain't get no bacon, I ain't get no grits. Joe? We eat grits and eggs up there. That's in the restaurant. Rye motherfucking bread. Hey, what happened to the... Uh, he always fuck up all the food with this dumb... Y'all see what I gotta eat? Rye bread. I'm looking for grits. Oh, yeah. Eggs and sausage. He came with cheese. This is good in a motherfucking bread. Okay, but I don't know that. 
So that's one of the sometimes people Your make Your speech fun. is perfect, David. You're doing great. Yeah. Yes. Love you too. Yeah. Damn, she's adding. <laughs> this is nice, man. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, Gregory. <laughs> Stop it, Yeah, we're gonna be in a new car, David. Taking a break, goddammit. And Wendy, if we're gonna call in this call, and I'm saying this nicely, so I won't say anything. You're sitting in the back and I'm sitting in the front. No, it's Wendy hits the back, out front. Ah, you said it. No, I can't, I got claustrophobia. You're in the front. Yeah. What the heck is, you sit in the car, you got claustrophobia. You don't even know what claustrophobia is. Because what happened was, mm. where I live at, because you don't like it. It's yeah. tight. That's claustrophobia. He knows the culture for me because we spoke about it before that's why I've been since that time. I don't go upstairs unless somebody goes higher than where I live at. So yeah, he got very upset at me because mm -hmm. I walked from the lobby. What happened? You were telling the story. Right. That was a good story. It is. I, I'm not going to go upstairs by myself in the elevator. That's the only reason why you go up here. Alright, let's put it this way. When I, if I go in the elevator by myself, I get nervous, I start sweating, and I get anxiety. So if I have a heart attack, this guy here is going to lose his best um, workout that he ever had. That's my best workout, Joe. And what you going to do? Gonna if he lose, you got you, damn it, he lose you, David. I'm sorry to say. Well, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> All right. Bye, y'all. I'm not going to get up You're going to help me out. Hmm? Oh, God. Don't get old. Don't <laughs> get to be old. Can't move your ass. Man, yeah. ah, very slow. When you bring your own... My call. David, get your ass in the car. Let's go. Don't like that for me. I'm sorry. Hey, Joe, you stupid ass motherfucker. My name is not Joe. You could call her Peg Leg Bass, motherfucker. That's my new fucking name. Peg Leg Bass. You walking like you were about to fall in your goddamn face. You have. Watch it, do some sleep, please. Yeah. Okay, those are nice feet. Right, darling. Okay. I said, watch those doofy feet, Joe. You're size 15. Oh, okay. Watch my leathers. Can you fit? Gotta move it up a little. Gotta move it up. Move the feet up a little bit. Bye, 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 my friend. Oh, shit. Bye, friend. Tune in tomorrow, 3 o'clock. Yeah. You said 3 o'clock. Well, tune in any motherfucking time you can, goddamn. We on all goddamn day. Suresh. Look at that Gregory. Suresh, thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Episode 3, goddamn. Episode 4 could be better than 3. <laughs>